Hello and welcome back to the Bibi Bookish YouTube channel. I am so excited for this video as it is the first video I'm filming with my new camera and better lighting so there are no harsh shadows, so exciting. Um, this video is going to be about letter writing ideas, um, particularly with use of printables. So here I'm showing off some of my uh, ready printed out uh, memo pads, which I've bought from Etsy shops, which I love. Um, these are from places like Anime Studio, Laurel May Art, great Etsy shops. Then printed out letter sets from Oxmell Studios. These are ones you can order to have sent to you. So you have these and then that is it, unless you order a new lot. And I, I love these. There is nothing wrong with these. I will use these all the time. I will spend my money on them. They're amazing. But I really want to show off in this video uh, the use of printables. So printables are things you can get from Etsy shops, which are either printable stickers, journal sets, uh, letter writing paper. And this is where you get a digital file and basically you print off at home and can use in your own crafts. So I want to show off some different shops that I have found which I am in love with at the minute and different items that I have got from them. So these first items are from the shop Storm, Storm Sparrow which is on Etsy. I will show a clip of their shop later and these I have decided to print on sticker paper. So these are stickers that I will cut out myself. Obviously some people prefer to just buy their own sticker sheets, have them already cut, prepped when they arrive, but you do, for those kind of sheets, you uh, you do pay sort of like the Etsy premium, like I, that's what I call it, um, when the shop does everything for you and it gets sent in beautiful packaging and it's amazing and it's lovely, but they're maybe not as cost effective as some of these options. So if you are pen paling crafting on a budget, I think printables are a really good way to go because I've bought these printables and I now have that file like forever or an, until <laughs> computers are obsolete, I suppose. <laughs> um, and yeah, I can print these same sheets out again and again, as long as again, I have my printer ink and some paper. So you can print these on regular, just regular paper. You can print it on a nicer, higher GSM. So it's like thicker. Uh, I've again printed this on sticker paper to make it just easier for me. So when I cut it out, I can just peel off the back and stick them down. I just, I, I really like them. I find that um, I can get a new thing in my head quite quickly. I want to do something in this theme or that theme and I will order it and then I'm waiting a little while for it to arrive and I still, I'm still happy when it arrives and I, I love the item and then I use the item and then it's gone. <laughs> Which again is, is fine. I love doing that. I love hoarding some of my favourite stationery until the right moment to use it. But sometimes it's nice to just have a quick pop on my computer, search through my um, digital downloads and have what I want right there um, ready for my crafting session. <laughs> I think it's a good bit of fun and I don't think a lot of people use them as much. I mean, at least when you see on the Instagram community, it is a lot more buying the physical sheets, which is great and it's great to support small businesses that way as well. But a lot of small businesses do only sell these digital downloads or sell mostly digital downloads. I will show that off in some of these shops. Like for example, for me, some of these shops are, they're not in my country. So they do sell physical items, but being with me in the UK and let's say some of them in Thailand or the USA, I have to pay quite a high shipping price, which for me is fine. It's worth it when I really love the items and is worth it when I've got that little extra pocket money. 
but sometimes I just, I, I love their designs and I want to support them and I want to use that and a digital download is easy because it's sent instantly to my file. I can print it off at home and I can use it again and again and again, which is, I, I think I'll be saying again a lot in this video. <laughs> So my first example is I am decorating two sheets of gridded paper. These are just from a random notebook that I have had for years. It's like a, one of those moleskin notepads, but in the grid, um, I basically just use that to rip pages out of. I initially bought it for when I was doing my GCSEs to revise and didn't actually use it then. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, so I like to sort of distress the edges of pages, especially when I'm going for a vintage look, because that's what I'm going for with this. I'm doing sort of a vintage nature theme to sort of fit in with my printables. Um, and as you can see, I used items that have just been lying around the house. So most people um, can get access to coloured pencils quite easily. They are... Um, for some people just a household item you might have some people might have kids that they've bought them for that they can borrow for an hour or two you know it's <laughs> i'm trying to keep this video as sort of a low budget video so nothing i'm using is really too expensive um everyone has scissors lying around the house for my textured paper or my uh wordy paper a lot of people use it as just general ephemera I have an old dictionary which I did show before it's really really old I think it was my dad's a really really long time ago completely forgotten about never gets used I think the only time it ever did get used was ages ago when we had scrabble and we needed to check words um <laughs> so now I rip it up and use it in my crafts and I've been using this for about a year and I've still not run out of pages so I've not had to go out and buy any book pages and I find that I look in sort of old bookshops all the time for these sort of books that are older that no one's touched you know it could be like a really random book on uh, what's a topic that's a bit obscure mm, trains is trains obscure? Maybe like train functions and things? Yes, some people might like to read it, but sometimes you go into a corner of a certain used secondhand bookstore and you know that that book has not been picked up in a while because it's got the dust on it and the pages are yellowed. And <laughs> and I feel like what I do, some people would call it sacrilege. I call it giving the item a second life. <laughs> so... I'm quite proud when I manage to find a really old tattered book and actually give a use for it. And I do a lot of vintage collaging in my junk journal and in my pen pal letters, so I think it's worth it. And it saves me a lot of money. <laughs> so as you can see, I am just using my coloured pencils to sort of do like much, much, <laughs> mock, uh, sewing so to get, sort of give the look that it's sort of been sewn into by doing these little dashes on the tops and the bottom and I will cut out each of my stickers and sort of collage around it so I wanted to keep the design of these quite simple because obviously I'm going to be using these to write on for my pen pal letters I won't do that in this video but I will be sending one of these or oh, all of these to a pen pal of mine so they won't go wasted uh, and I'll probably send whatever stickers I didn't use to them as well as like an extra goodie because that's another thing if you like gifting items to your pen pals but you don't have a lot of stationery why not print out just an extra sheet and cut them all up and then that's quite a lot of stickers you are sending them because on that one sheet there's about mm, I don't know, 13 different stickers altogether on one of them and then six quite big ones on the other. I didn't actually use those owl tickets in this video but I have, I think I'm going to use them in an upcoming video where I might do a Harry Potter theme and I feel like owls and old tickets and things 
really do work for something like that so I can't wait to use those and show you how I will um, make those into either goodies or um, decoration. So yeah, I'm just, I'm really very excited about that and this sheet, because they're, they're so detailed. Um, this shop, Storm and Sparrow, is very, very unique. I've not come across um, something like them before. I mean, there probably is. I would love if anyone can give any recommendations for those types of shops. Um, I'd be really happy with it. <laughs> but yeah, um, like even this, um, it's, I think some of these are meant to be used for like journaling. So you put them as headers in your journals like a week and day. They do a lot of journal spreads and things like that. But I'm planning on using this tag as like a date, a date tag. So I will put like the date of when I write the letter on there. So I just wrote today's date on it because I'll be writing it later. <laughs> And I think they give this really cool vintage look. I love how they sort of stand off the page. I also think these stickers would look really cool on like a craft paper background, like the brown sort of craft paper. At least that's what I think anyway. I might speed up the video now just a bit, just so you don't have to watch me cutting out every single one of these items so slowly. There we go better um yeah so today i am drinking some coffee just regular instant two sugars um i don't always like to drink um so much caffeine but today i have done quite a lot and now it's um it's not late because i don't drink too close um, to when I'm going to bed so it's about seven o'clock and I think I just need this little bit of boost to help me uh, concentrate on editing this video <laughs> this design is really really cool I think this is the reason I bought this particular sheet the uh, oh, I think it's the guardians in nature sheet i think i will find out the actual name in just a moment but uh yeah this sort of like really large deer <laughs> i think it will go on so many cool male arts because i feel like there are certain animals that we think of when we create uh any kind of like male junk journaling and it usually it does tend to be woodland animals unless they're made to be quite cute you know it's kind of like the fuzzy ones or the birds you know you never really see anything too unusual like you don't often see lizards on male art but yeah a deer is quite a um a staple so i thought if i get that one i will be able to use it quite a lot and i feel like a lot of my pen pals will appreciate that image I have a lot of pen pals who really like the sort of vintage botanical woodland aesthetic and I think, again, I've talked about this before, I do shop sometimes with my pen pals in mind because we tend to have the same likes and I know if I like it, they'll really like it and when I see something that I know my pen pals will love, I'm like, yes, I must get that. Okay, so here is the finished look at that letter writing set that I have made for myself. I mean, that was so easy. I think the result is so detailed and cute and that really didn't take me much time at all. Um, and all it took was a couple of printables, an old dictionary and some coloured pencils. Okay, so here is the Storm and Sparrow Etsy shop. I've got it favorited. It is really, really good, as you can see, for all these like detailed um, printables. I think the majority of what they sell are printables. They do sell sort of, I think, one-off no things. So the ones that I 
got and showed you were this one, Owl of Athena, which is gorgeous as I showed you, really, really detailed. And then the Woodland Guardians, and that's the one I use to decorate the letter sheets that I made. <laughs> Or will be using. Yeah, depends on where I put this clip in. <laughs> so yeah, they've got really gorgeous detailed prints that I think you can use for the junk journaling, planning, like these ones. Winter is coming, so obviously that's um oh, where's it gone? Game of Thrones themed. <laughs> that went ringing out of my head. So yeah, that one's Game of Thrones themed. If you're really into sort of more sciencey, vintage type things, there's things like Animal Study. Oh, clicked on that by accident. Oh, but that's pretty. This is a celestial one. So if you are really into star signs and things like that, really bad. I think that's Aries there. Uh, yeah, and then Virgo. Correct me if I'm wrong. And Pisces, and then. Mm, can't remember what that one is. I'm not. <laughs> I do love stars and astrological like aesthetics, but I'm. I don't follow the sort of star sign thing very much. See, these are sort of like examples of how they would use their um printouts, and they just look amazing. I mean, if you ever wanted to do something like a replica journal, like an old journal, these would be really cool to make something like that. Depends how crafty you want to get with it, or if you're doing maybe like a, um, even like a Lord of the Rings themed, um, mail or spread, a lot of these would like work with that, I feel like they're going like, so, there we go, Lord of the Rings birthday card, again it's a birthday card, but I feel like you could probably use that as just a greetings card, may you have a merry day, it does say happy birthday on it, but I bet I could craft that into a general greetings card and use that as well even though it's really cool as the design is um yeah so really great shop Ooh, harry potter that's really cool i'm a hufflepuff by the way i feel like a lot of people who do crafting end up fitting into either the the hufflepuff or the Ravenclaw. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong if you feel like you'd fit into a different house, but I'm 100% Hufflepuff. So on to the next lot of Etsy shops that I found some printables off. This one is from quite a small Etsy shop and I thought it was a really cool simplistic design, really perfect for spring. So it this one is made for A4 size. I think there is a way you could get it down to A5. Um, but I think it's nice to change up the size of your letters every now and again. It comes with lined and no lined. And it also has like a beigey grey background. Or you can have it just with the white background. And my idea for this set is to colour in the design. Um, I thought of this really sort of last minute as I was getting ready to just show off this page. I thought that would be really cool to sort of get my pencils out and fill it in and I was thinking it just looks like, you know those um, mindfulness colouring books? So <laughs> I was like, yeah, why not try it? And I ended up really loving the result. Uh, I think it looks cool to colour in sections and leave some black and white. Of course, colouring the full lot in again is fine. It was really soothing to do, actually. I felt really relaxed. Um, so I went for sort of green and pink again because I, I want to use this for like a spring mail. Hmm and it's I, don't know, I just thought it was a really simple again sort of cheap way of decorating and customizing your letters um because you don't have to go all out all the time uh, <laughs> sometimes you can just make it cute and 
sometimes a little bit of decoration is enough because your writing is often decoration enough because I don't know sometimes I see a piece of paper just filled with writing and I find it so satisfying I'm not sure yeah so as you can see I think it turned out really nice <laughs> and the next lot of papers I am showing is from a different shop I actually got two different designs from this shop and I think I will be getting more because there were so many options the first is like a vintage note pad I would say I think it's really good if you like sort of the soft vintage aesthetic or even light academia that would fit in really well with this and I think the pages from this shop are uh, even more designed than the last they are still customizable like you could still add washi tapes and stickers and things to them but you really don't have to so I think this would be perfect for the person who just wants to write <laughs> you know they want a sheet that is ready to go and I really like these ones because they're sort of fresh I kind of picked ones that I could use sort of any time of the year like these hanging plants I think are perfect for spring summer or if I just do like a an at home sort of theme or just a general cute theme a lot of people I find like planters and things like that so I think it works really really well so these again once you order the design they come with the option to have it lined and blank when you print them out and they cover well you get two sheets on a side of A4 paper so you can either fold them over so it's kind of like a booklet or you can cut them apart which I quite like to cut them apart I like to get rid of the black line that's in the middle just to make it just a design there's also you get a little bit of white border that you can cut off um, so it all looks like just the design itself and this one as you can see I get out my guillotine and it's it's a beautiful guillotine it's pink it fits in my craft room but it is quite <laughs> cheap it's not really heavy enough to lay down the papers so right there you can see I make a bit of a mistake it catches the paper and pulls it down so I kind of I initially thought I wrecked the sheet but I think I managed to fix it so I look at it for a second I have a think I still try and I think I move it around thinking oh maybe I'll cut this off maybe I can cut it but then I didn't want to get rid of the design on that side so I came up with scrunching it up <laughs> into a ball and it made it look even more vintage and it kind of hid the fact that the corner was a little bit scrunched. So I just wrote on top of that and I ended up really, really liking the result. So yeah, never throw away your mistakes instantly. Just think about what you can do because this is sort of where the creativity comes in and you'll end up finding that you like the result more often than you don't. <laughs> and if you don't, then you were going to throw it away anyway. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so let me know what you think about how it looks. Uh, these, again, I feel like could have got a better pigment in them. I They look a bit faint on this, but that is, I think, because my printer was running a little bit out of ink. Um, also, if you did it on a thicker piece of cardstock, I feel like that would show up again even more. And of course, you can always print these onto like a coloured paper. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Here is the shop for that one that I coloured in. Uh, it is called the yellow office and it's a smaller Etsy shop there's not as many items but they're still really cool again most of them are like downloadable uh, printable content and again this this is the design I got I showed off quite nicely it's um the botanical writing paper which I think is just it's perfect for spring it's I think it's a cool one for coloring in but I think it works really well if you're going for a more simplistic neutral theme as well 
Um, I just think it looks really nice. And I like that it comes with the lined and unlined options. And so that's, if you're in the UK, that's uh, £2.09 for the whole set. Uh, so you get it in the white and then the sort of beige grey. Um, and I think it's really good because, again, you can print these off again and again and again. And these ones are really customisable. And I think it's a really unique thing to have the date and the location. I don't know many just letter sets that include the location as like a feature in the design. And it does make me want to explore that with how I pen pal. Maybe do some funny bits like writing in the bath. That is my location. <laughs> that could be quite fun. And here's another one. It's a botanical themed. It's again another botanical theme, but this one's more floral. And I think that's olives or is it? rose hip buds it's probably more likely rose hip buds than olives <laughs> and yeah I feel like it's really cool and obviously if you color them in like I do it could be it can make every letter really unique so even though you're sending out lots of the same design it's different because you've colored it in um yeah so that's a really really cool shop and then for the other one it was Ooh, well, not that. <laughs> Here we go. Pisco Letters. I, I hope that's how you say it. Pisco Letters. Um, this is a beautiful Etsy shop. I followed her on Instagram as well for the longest time. And I think she's based in Thailand. So for me, ordering some of her items is a little bit... Um, expensive when you include the shipping I think all of her items are reasonably priced it's just when you add on the shipping as well it can get a bit pricey so that's why I was really excited to see she had uh, printable options so I could get hold of some of the designs uh, let's see if I can here you go so she's got so many different designs for printable paper I only ordered two I ordered these ones, the College Notebook Printable Letter Paper and the Hanging Gardens one. I have a couple more favourited to try out as well, but there are so many like really pretty, bright, colourful designs um, that can fit for sort of all seasons. Like this one, Pumpkin Spices, would be very good for um, autumn coming back round. There's a couple of... Um, Christmas Santa themed ones and I think a printable might be a better option for um Christmas themed stationery although I, I do like buying Christmas themed stationery like to get sent to me but obviously a printable takes up no space in your craft room I mean it's on file you print out how many you need and then you're set for that year and then you can use it again the next year and it doesn't take up any space that's well it's not expensive at all you've got lined and lined and I just think it's a really good option that doesn't break the bank <laughs> let's go back to the main shot so yeah these are really pretty I didn't actually get any of the printable stickers so these if you are a fan of sticker girls she has got printable sticker girl um sets these are a little bit more expensive but as you can see the design is a lot more detailed these like pink nutcracker ones they're very cute again i would still think that was worth it because once you've got the design you can print these out again and again so you could use it as like you can if you print them on sticker paper you can use them as stickers and if you just print it on regular paper you can just use it as sort of general ephemera for your crafting and i would put these on my journals on journal spreads i would i have some sticker paper so you can get like a pretty large pack from amazon for not that much and obviously i just print them out and i cut them out myself and i could send that to like my pen friends so they could share it with me I find that I'd get a lot of use out of these Ooh, vintage bus tickets 
See, I have actually bought vintage bus tickets from different shops, like actual vintage bus tickets, and they are lovely. But again, if I didn't have those, I might want to get these as a more affordable option. And again, have them again and again. It's actually a really clever idea. If you like junk journaling, I feel like this would go really well because I feel like I see a lot of people use the same sort of ephemera in different junk journals to keep them all the same aesthetic, all the spreads. So instead of buying and waiting for the shipping time, printables are really, really useful. And again, if you don't have that much stationery, um, and you want to obviously give your pen pals little gifts. I think this is a really good way of doing it. Where again, it doesn't break the bank. Ooh, just look at one more. I think this one. Yeah, I really like this for sort of, I feel like the colors can be quite spring, but with the coats and the styles of them, it's very autumn. I really like these actually. I also just wanted to show off from my shop Pisco Letters that I got a freebie with my order. So along with all the files for the um, letter sets that I did choose, I got a file for this um, fitness tracker, which was a complete surprise because with Etsy shops you do get freebies when you order um, obviously a package to come to you. It's quite often I suppose Etsy shops tend to be very gener uh, generous with things like that but I wasn't expecting it with a digital download and I just thought it was an amazing touch so it's beautiful it's pastel and it basically tracks everything you'd want to track in a fitness or wellness tracker so I was so happy with those and I really do recommend looking at that shop but it was just a really really nice detail and this next shop did something very similar again I ordered and I got a freebie and I was so impressed because this freebie looks so professional I probably would have paid for it it was just really cool and it's this first sheet here that I printed onto sticker paper it's sort of nautical sea themed summer adventures that's what it's called and it's got these beautiful sort of pastel beachy colours and it actually, I think it's perfect for pen palling because it has these bigger, well I'm going to use them as stickers, bigger designs like fave restaurants and top five summer songs. I always include a playlist in my um, happy mails in my uh, flip books and things so I think it would just be so cool to use. Here is the design I actually bought from the shop. It is everything. So I bought a journaling kit. So this is meant for junk journaling and bujo, I think. It is sort of froggy cottage core theme. And I went a little bit crazy when I saw it. I was like, oh my God. It went straight into my basket. I was... I was just so surprised at the style of it because it is it is harder to find digital downloads even though there are so many but yeah I was so amazed and you get three big sheets that I'm all showing now full of like things for journaling and hers are actually filled with like um interactive parts like customizable interactive parts with the sheet you actually get sent some instructions on how to do those in the same shop I got this froggy letter writing set and these I would say um, I do show a size comparison later but they are about the size of like passport like A6 um, yeah and I think if you like those sort of really designed memo pads that you can get on all these cute Etsy shops it's basically like a print your own because <laughs> they're that sort of size they're really designed these ones I probably wouldn't do much to someone might they might add a bit more washi tape they might stick them together you don't know I'd love to see people's creations with different printables but these ones I think are so designed that I like them quite plain 
But yeah, so when I ordered these ones, they came with the option of um, like ruled, lined and blank as well. So if you like find that you like writing on ruled, you can still do that even with these. And I, I've just been so impressed with this shop. I got so excited when I found them. I can't wait to take you through their Etsy shop in a bit later because I think anyone who likes pen palling or cottage core or cute designs and stationery is gonna go crazy and love this shop as much as I do. And I can print out these designs over and over again and I'm just so, you know when you find like a good item in a shop, like maybe it's a dress, maybe it's a book, and you're gonna look back and think, I am so happy I purchased that. I'm gonna keep looking back and thinking how happy you were at purchasing it. That is these items for me. And I'm gonna go back and I think buy more collections as they come out. So well done <laughs> to this shop. I think my camera's having a little bit of trouble focusing because for some reason it doesn't like when I use my guillotine as much. I think it's because it's on a slightly higher level than my desk. Um, I'm quite new to filming and cameras and things like that, but I think I am improving. I feel like this is my best looking video yet and hopefully they're just going to get better and better and better. So. I hope you will stick along with me as I figure that out and hopefully see the improvement as well. Um, but yeah, these designs are amazing. The little frog with the leaf umbrella. I just, I'm a sucker for anything like weird and cute and odd. Like here they are, you can see them more clearly now. They're just adorable and I will definitely be sending a couple of different sheets to my pen pals. I am going to be doing a giveaway on my Instagram soon. It's a blue themed one. Um, so that'll be up soon and then I'll probably do a giveaway again next month and I will probably include more than a few of these sheets in that giveaway as well. So if you're not already... Um, following my Instagram please do because I do giveaways quite regularly there I show off a lot of what I make I put updates about my YouTube so if you found this video and have not already been following me on Instagram go check it out it might be a page that you quite like <laughs> so here I wanted to show off how to use or how I would use these products um, so I'm sort of creating a, a mini flip book, I would call it. Very, very simple. Uh, I'm not really using anything other than the, um, the printout and a white gel pen. This craft card I got from The Works. If you're in the UK, you probably know what that is, but it's quite a, um, a reasonably priced shop for stationery, books, games, things like that. It's a bit of an odd one, but I got a big pack of craft card for a pound, which I don't know, is about 94 cents US. Something like that, maybe like a dollar 20 Australian. I'm not very good at converting. I think it's something like that. <laughs> but I just cut it down to make a basic card and then I start cutting out these different journal items. I really wanted to use a couple of the interactive um, pieces to show you what they are and how you can use them in a mail. These, I think, will be really cute in someone's journal. I'll probably print out another set of them to go in my junk journal as well to do sort of like a cottage core spread. Um, and I really like how there's so many frames and sort of Polaroid um, designs. Everything about this sheet speaks to me. <laughs> um, and I can't wait to use all of them. I'll probably be posting uh, different ways on how to use this on my Instagram as well. So again, check that out if you're interested. Um, so yeah, I'm using this little froggy boy as my main centerpiece, I suppose. 
I always have like a feature point in at like the front of my flip books. It just tends to be how I craft. I like something that draws the eye, draws the eye into one place. And I think having a big, um, clear, very saturated illustration does that. I'm actually really happy with the way this um, flip book turns out. I'm probably going to send it to a pen pal. I wasn't initially planning on doing that. I was planning on making this one particularly just to show or maybe even stick on my little pegboard as like memories. But I think I will either send this to a pen pal or maybe I'll make it a giveaway on my story. I don't know yet. <laughs> I love these designs so much. I feel like I'm going to get on people's nerves by saying that so often that, um, yeah, I mean, what would that little guy's name be called? Maybe Reg. Reginald? <laughs> Arnold? Who knows? I think I might actually use these to decorate a notebook for my starting college. I start this Friday back up on my um, course for sign language, so... I actually, I, I uh, work as a customer assistant, but I'm going to college at the moment um, for British Sign Language BSL, and again, stationery and college, they go hand in hand. It's really nice, actually, to have my hobby um, sort of interlink with one of my other passions. Um, hopefully one day I will be an interpreter or something like that so <laughs> maybe I'll do some videos in the future sharing some bits of my sign language or at least sharing it on my story I'm not that confident yet <laughs> but I will get there um I've also been considering whether or not to um speak to the camera as in show my face on here and I'm not sure about that yet I don't know what you guys think about um, seeing the person in a YouTube video. Um, some people have said they find it more personal and they like seeing the people in their videos. Other people are not fussed at all, they don't seem to mind, and other people I guess don't like it. Um, who knows, maybe I'll try it out, let me know if you think that would be a good idea. Um, but yeah, would you like to see a watch me set up my uh, notebooks for my sign language course. I think that could be quite fun. Um, maybe I can buy a couple of new notebooks from Etsy, maybe bring you shopping with me, maybe I was like an Instagram live or something like that. I have, I have a lot of ideas. I, <laughs> I tend to get this like spur of the moment inspiration and spur of the moment motivation as well like sometimes I wake up and I'm like I'm going to craft five different happy mails and I'm going to do two or three spreads in my journal and then I go out and I'm and I will walk to the post office and <laughs> I will do all my chores and other days I just want to sit in my craft room and maybe just throw some paint at a wall <laughs> or just sit and play games all day. Uh, I don't know, I get these random bursts of creativity and they can be set off by anything. I think today it was really set off by finding this uh, journal set. It instantly gave me the idea for um, this video and showing off my different printables. Um, I don't know, how do you get your inspiration? Do you get it like I do, where it's just random bursts of sudden creativity? Or is it you constantly feel like you're creative, but you don't have enough time? Or do you just, are you just chill? Can you just craft when you want and chill out when you want? What do you do? <laughs> it would be nice to know. Oh, this part's really cool. Um, This sort of interactive part of the journal set it's like a mini notebook and again when I look at this I get so many ideas like for this one I thought it'd be a cool tab or page on this flip book to stick the notebook to it so I can add a little note to a pen pal in there or like write them a movie list in there because it's like, like nice and mini 
But I also thought that um, it would be good if I wanted to do like a mini mail challenge. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's basically like making happy mail or snail mail, but miniature and really, really cute. Um, I found out that idea from Brittany McCowan's YouTube channel. She did um, quite a lot of mini mail challenges. I took part in one and I sent her a letter where I made some miniature mail. And as soon as I saw that, I kind of thought of her video and that. And, and now I want to create a mini mail and send it to my pen pal. Maybe I'll do a mini mail challenge on here as well for sort of people I know to get involved and send each other really mini fun cute little mails I mean that could really be a teeny tiny flip book oh that could be so cute so that's how it turned out I think it's really cute and I think it was so simple and easy so yeah check out the shop now <laughs> Hey, so here is the final Etsy shop that I used for these printables and I think this is the one I don't want to have favourites but I think this is the one that I was so excited to find because I came across this shop by accident and her printables just seem really high quality and the designs are so so cute there's a lot of like Christmas um, tag garland ones I've noticed in her designs which again if you want Christmas stationery that doesn't take up room in your craft room all year round um, printables surely are a good idea <laughs> but they're really really beautiful so detailed like this letter set I almost purchased and I probably will purchase in a bit it's uh, 366 and you get the um, the sheet and then a printable for an envelope, which I think is really good. Because again, if you're not that interested in going full on on the decoration yourself, it looks really nice to have an already decorated envelope, you know? If you, let's say, if you, I don't want to say not put in the effort, but if you just don't feel like you are that creative that day and you just want something that is cute and works. I mean, look with the... Um, address on and the little return address part it's it, I just think they're adorable see that's an example of how you could use it they're just so so cute I'm I'm definitely gonna get this set I'm not gonna lie <laughs> it's it's going in my basket and yeah here are the sets I bought so it's the froggy letter writing set and the froggy printable journaling set so again along with these I got that free sample which is just amazing and again I was really surprised but really happily surprised that I did get that and I think it's for her future collection or maybe something she was trying out. Now the printable journaling set that I got was a bit more expensive than the other ones but that is because I got three sheets so they're three like full like you saw they fit in a four and they're really detailed and I personally think it's worth it because I will probably, again, print them out again and again because I really love the designs. I will probably send a sheet or two to a pen pal that I'm close with and obviously they're very high quality. With these as well, I also got sent this. It's um almost like a little slide PowerPoint of um, how to create the crafts in there I didn't create the 3d froggy but that one I, I can't wait to do I did create the little booklet which was so cute uh yeah I was just so impressed with it and I'm almost sad I didn't get she has another uh journaling set I will find it now here we go it's a dark academia themed printable so there's like a sticker sheet to match that she's done but it this is similar to the one that I got so I got the froggy one that's more cottage core style and this one is like a a moth or a dark butterfly theme if you will with a dark academia aesthetic so all the colors are a bit more dark and rich I probably will get this one as well because it, again it's a similar style but all the colours are slightly different and if you actually do want to use this for journaling 
you might want one for like the next month or just to swap them out every now and again. I love the little mushrooms and I, I do have a soft spot for like butterfly decals. These interactive notes which I put together, they're so cute. I, I just, I was so impressed with them. Again, it's like, it's not just something to cut out, it's interactive and really fun. Oh, that one's really, really cool. I bet I could do something like that with the other ones that I received. Yeah, if I'd done it with the froggy one, I could have done that. But again, I can print it out and I can try that. I And it with um, the one I created, I obviously just stuck the froggy picture frame as my main focus. But you could also have used it like this, where it was kind of a, a fold out. Oh, I will. Next time I print that out, I'm definitely going to try it. Yeah, it's just, I find it amazing. I just think they're so creative and I was, I found this completely by accident. And I think it's what inspired me to sort of make this video in a way because I, com I completely forgot about printables like for the longest time. And I was thinking, well, why? Because they're so useful like these tags it's a cozy gift tag set so obviously these could be used for sort of like christmas time because they've got the reds in there but also they're kind of more cottage core i would say so you can probably use these at any time of the year six really cute tags so i i like to draw in things but i don't always have the neatest drawings i i'm not really an artist per se i i just like to create so I could try and draw some of these, like the bird would probably end up a little bit wonky, so instead I would get this <laughs> and just be really happy with the outcome. But yeah, I just, I really recommend going and looking for interesting printables because I think it would really save you a lot of money if you're trying to grow your collection in terms of stationery. And again, with journaling, if even if you don't send things to pen pals, if you just like to have an ever-changing aesthetic in your journal printables are really good for that because you're not spending too much on shipping <laughs> and you can still support small businesses and i'm just going to show you now what i would type in to search for different um digital downloads and uh, yeah digital downloads i guess <laughs> so i would first put in digital download downloads and I might put in stickers because for me wanting to use them for all different types of things stickers tend to be better sometimes journaling kits work for pen paling sometimes they don't like their little days of the week don't always work for pen paling they can do but not always so you'll see some of these come up and you've just really got to be patient and sift through and see which ones catch your eye. There's a lot of these like um, sinking funds and budgeting ones that you can find printable. I feel like they're some of the most popular. So if you actually do have a planner and you like to change that up a lot um there's a lot of planner inserts babe digital sticker set let's look at that one over 75 digital stickers This one might be for, again, you have to sort of sift through because some of them that come up with printables, they're not always. So that's instead of putting digital downloads, put in printable stickers. Not necessarily planners. Here you go, you get a lot more by putting in that. So maybe search up printables rather than digital download you do find some under digital download and I found a lot of good ones under digital download but I find if you put in this it comes up a bit better so here you go so if you bullet journal these are sort of like 
open tabs that you can put in. I think these fit in with sort of like happy planner type journals, but I feel like this could work for anything. This could work quite well for pen paling because um, generally these cards I would use to put on like a little playlist or maybe even a quote to decorate. Same with these um, and the little dots are always useful. I find sticker dots tend to be really, really cute for anything. These are really cute. Uh, botanical anything for uh, pen paling seems to work. <laughs> and you just gotta like think of things as how can I use them in other ways? Like this has planner sets. I think, oh, just crafty stickers. <laughs> it's the best way to do it I've found. Let's go back, printable stickers. See, that one's quite cute. Like if you like to plan things like your health, like little tiny planner stickers for that. Printable expense tracker. This is why I said you'll go through so many expenses and budget tracking, but you have to kind of, if you're not interested, you have to push through and find things you are interested in. These ones are gorgeous. Yeah, those are so cute. See, these are winter ones, but I wonder if they do any others. And again, these are planner, but that long sticker, again, decoration for happy mail, snail mail. I do journal, but it's not that structured. So sometimes I might use the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, just to look back and be like, oh, I wrote this on a Saturday, but I don't, I don't plan week by week yet anyway, because I'm not that busy. <laughs> I possibly will be when I start back in college but right now not so much these little tick lists are cute again I'd probably just use them as embellishment um oh these are cute I really like the color palette of these well, let's have a look at it so designing life yeah so this shop has got loads of different themes of these I would definitely get one of these because the price of them is very reasonable I think for the amount you get so let's see what's speaking to me mm, that's pretty yeah I really like this this kind of gives new year's vibes and I really like the pink and gold look together with the black see and it does come up as 5.98 with this which again not bad at all because that's like one, two, three. So you get three really detailed full prints. And if you think about that in terms of, let's say if you were to buy a sticker sheet, I'd say a general price for any sort of sticker sheet is around 250 um, pounds. And then you'll probably pay that again on shipping, depending on where it comes from. So that is five pounds per one sticker sheet that you can use once and it's done, which I love doing. <laughs> I spend my money on things that I love, on sticker sheets that make me happy because when you do buy them from the shops, they do tend to come higher quality. They come already cut, you know, and I love the packaging. I like the experience of buying from Etsy shops, but it's also sometimes I just want a cute, thing for my craft and I want it right then and I feel like this would work for me I don't have any issue with cutting out or getting my own sticker paper or even even if you wanted to just put it on regular paper or cardstock and just sticking it on with the glue stick oh I can't stop clicking <laughs> and again this shop has really really good reviews I check them out. <laughs> so I think that's all I wanted to show you on Etsy. Anyway, so thank you for watching this video. I am so pleased um, with this idea. I hope you will get inspired and start looking for different Etsy shops and artists who offer digital downloads and printables. You can actually find a lot of printables free um, through like mailing lists of some artists on Instagram. I know you can do that. Um, but yeah, so like, 
this video, comment down below, tell me what you thought. Um, if you enjoy this kind of content, these really chatty long videos, please subscribe. And um, I hope to um, craft with you again soon. So see you later.